Over here, you've got Monster Cluster Storm number one. Over here, you've got Monster Cluster Storm number two. But this is our bad boy ring-a-ding-ding -ding that we are watching together. You and I. And whatever it is, it will probably hit there. Fort Lauderdale area, that's my guess. Technically, not to scare you, I've nicknamed this Irma Part 2. But the conditions have been tearing it down. So, uh, we're going to have to watch over the next two to five days for any type of development. And so, we got a lot going on, including a heat wave. It is early Sunday morning. Look at that convergence line. That is crazy. And I guess we should note in the future that something about eclipses makes me very super PMSE, for lack of a better term. Hurricane semi rocket fuel. Hurricane semi rocket fuel. Hurricane semi rocket fuel. All you really need is like above 80 for some type of development now let's take a look at the model boy i'd sure fall below with that one didn't i let's try that again let's take a look at the models and i'm not if i'm acting really crazy it's probably because like three days ago i felt like i, I couldn't even make it anymore and now i'm dealing with an end of cancer season you guys are gonna have to deal with me Going through massive affection withdrawals, because it's like I haven't had affection in a hundred years, and I used to get it all the time. From like 13 till 2017, so I was like 13, 15, till I was like 2017. And I was talking about, oh yeah, so now I'm in a much better mood. And you guys are fantastic, incredible, amazing. I love y'all. So yeah, that's what I do. I just keep you guys informed. Right now, the GFS is not showing any type of major development whatsoever, but we do have really hot wind conditions. And no matter what, that overall condition, it looks like there is a lot of rain flying all around, whether it be Mexico, Guatemala. The volcanic islands we call Puerto Rico, the Dominique, and all those other islands that have names that I can't remember at this exact moment. And then you got the Florida Keys. If you're a giant, you could like use them as like stepping stones. Or you could stand in their shoulders like Isaac Newton. But it looks like uh, the southeast is going to continue to get rain, precipitation, over the next two weeks as the atmospheric river from our gas giant tilt is creating a kind of like a new wet equa equator from Mexico to Texas, across the coast, over Florida, and then up the northeast. Interesting days to be alive. It's definitely an interesting time. For sure. Now we're checking out the GEM, or the Canadian the CMC, the Canadian Master Comptroller? I don't know. I shouldn't have hit the button that fast, because now we're just looking at a spinning wheel, and that has to trigger people in some ways. It doesn't load in another second, I guess I should. Um. Oh, there we go. Now I look geniusy. No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, so I was going crazy, and so I tried to... I don't have my guitar or my amp, and so I can't. I couldn't stop thinking about women. And so I was like, well, I got to do something. I don't have a guitar. I tried to plug in my keyboard, couldn't get it to work. Uh, long story short, and I blame this on Ariana Grande. I paid 15 bucks, and for the first time in... Years, I signed up to the greatest video game ever, World of Warcraft. It's like 15 bucks to play a month. You can play for free up to level 20. Anyway, one of my favorite things about this game is that I get to heal. I'm a paladin. They're really cool guys. Technically, they're light workers, I guess. But I've always been a healing den. I just like run around healing people. And so, I'll be playing some World of Warcraft. And so, you know, hit me up if you play. Let you know it's server and stuff when I get all 62 gigs loaded and that'll help keep me sane during hurricane season if you know really great guys aren't going to be rewarded in any ways with kisses or hugs or whatever I don't know me okay so yeah you got more cyclonic activity rolling off of but I just want to say thank y'all again very excited about my paladin shock it in there's a joke okay but yeah so this has no major development that I can see um 
I'm actually just go back. I don't really like this model much. It's was it Pablo Picasso that had the dot period? Dots, or just I actually like his period of the dots, but not this map. It doesn't give a very good idea, but this doesn't have any development. Crap, this video is going great, and then it fell off. Here's just your basic, basic look at rain over the next 48 hours. As you can see, about 17, 18 states in the lower 48 are going to get wet. The green in the red, wait, the heavier green means heavier rain. Looks like we're getting a pretty serious snake of rain over a lot of states from the Tennessee Valley up to the Ohio Valley or maybe Easter. <sighs> Am I talking like a dork? It took this thing forever to load, but it's good that it did because it's the main thing we were watching. I don't know why I'm kind of whispery, but I'm going to stick with it. Okay, so that's the chunk I've been watching for you guys. And this is what I said in my other video, like, quote-unquote, surprise hurricane. Like, I don't, I, I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. I'm not even saying it's going to develop. I'm just saying we're definitely going to keep an eye on it. And me being up on this crazy, crazy night, um, where I'm tired, but I can't sleep. The energy seems very pressury. Um, I'll be watching it for you, especially tonight, and then, when everybody wakes up, everybody in the truth community and the weather community will be covering it as well. It's just an interesting thing we're watching. Right now, it's pulsing down, and, um, we're getting some rain pushing up into the south. But, we are entering Act 3 of what has been a crazy July. It started with a 6.5 earthquake. California. And then, we had an eclipse. And then, we had a 7.1 earthquake. And I remember, literally, like, that saved my channel. I was, like, way behind on my monthly donations for rent. And then the 6.5 hit on, like, the 4th of July or the day before. It was like, oh, yeah, Thor's right about his whole May 22nd volcano earthquake watch for the entire Ring of Fire in America and Canada. So that was interesting. And I got saved by a 6.5 earthquake this month. Anywho, and so it's just been a wild, crazy month. And then we had another eclipse. And then I kind of flipped out. And then I quit being Planetary Defense Commander. The Army Planetary Defense Commander again still. You don't give up on Planetary Defense, man. You just can't. People in the know get it. Was it talking about? Oh, yeah. Potential cyclonic development. But you got a freaking nasty heat wave. Man. And I don't like to talk about politics. But I'm going to do it. All right, so my theory, which is like revolutionary and totally freaking amazing, is that most of the major earthquakes and volcano eruptions on the West Coast and all across America, including the New Madrid, happen when all the gas giants are on the same side. And so we should be able to see gas giants are on the same side. And so for the next six years, Jupiter comes across... Um, Things are going to be crazy. And actually during the election, it's like Saturn and Jupiter are going to be totally lined up with the sun and crazy times. What's it talking about? Oh yeah, so that's what's going on. And that's what's causing a lot of the craziness. And one side is like, hell no, dude, it's all the carbon. Carbon does everything. And then the other side is like, hell no, it's a mini ice age slash, this isn't real heat slash. Um, I don't even know what the hell, like, oh, they're making it up. It always does, this, or whatever, man. Like, neither one seems to, A, acknowledge what we're going through, B, say, hey, the house is on fire a little, let's at least adapt and adjust together, because shit is getting crazy, and no matter what, it does not hurt to stay cool, chill out, be a cool person. Um, I think Asteroid Flight Club displayed that you can make a difference with the weather and the atmosphere, and being cool, staying cool affects things. So, you know, definitely I know, I don't want to pick on the ladies, but... Venus has been over here hanging out with Mars way too long. World War III almost broke out four times when Mars at the end when Mars was in the line with Eris and Uranus. So now Venus over here like, yay, I'm partying <laughs> with um, Mars. Like, she's never come back around this side. But look at this right now. This is like... I mean, that's pretty dang major, you know. I don't want to... It's like astronomy slash astrology. Sorry, bro, I'm lighting one. Um... Did I just say thank you to y'all? Y'all are amazing. Here we go. 
So you got like Venus, Mercury, Earth, Pluto, and it like, you flip that on side, it's a, we're going through some major shit, man. And this planetary energy affects things. It's kind of like when you go out in the sky and there's like retrograde doesn't matter. But if you watch as the planets pass, retrograde at Saturn and Jupiter, we're going past them. So it looks like they're moving backwards. And it won't be until we see them progressing in the sky. I explained that shittily. Okay. See, so yeah, no major warnings right now. We got 10% chance of development over the next 48 hours. 20% in the next five days, which is weird because it looks, it shouldn't take more than 48 hours to get from there to Fort Lauderdale. All right. And remember, I'm still pretty sure we got hurricanes coming in the middle of September, and that would be for up here. And then the middle of October, and that would be for right in there. And that this one will go right about there, if I'm correct. But what will it develop into? I don't know. But we'll keep watching. But it's definitely on the board now. We've been watching this spot all week, haven't we? Yes, we have. It does this crazy curve loop to loop, which is kind of bad because the more it stays out and over, well, I think it would hit there. If there is a chance it could pop back out, then it has more of a chance to develop. So there's definitely a story I will keep you guys appraised and updated upon. And I'll try not to act so silly. I'm just in a good mood and sexually frustrated or affectionately frustrated. All right. Man, dating in 2019 is so freaking weird. I don't even know. Do you know? Okay. So, this has been your early Sunday morning update. I love you guys. You guys are fantastic, amazing. I'm very lucky to have this job. But I'm pretty dang good at it. Alright. Let's all hug over the internet. You guys have a great day. And I'll keep you updated on all things important. Remember, we are in hurricane season next month is when we get to peak. Peak is August, September. And once it gets crazy, it stays crazy. It's like me and you. But crazy good, am I right? God bless everyone. Stay cool. Let's live long and prosper together. We've got a lot of shit we're dealing with. And I think a lot of people are hot today. Those almost look like volcano poofs. Don't they? Man, wild stuff, wild stuff. <laughs>